Hey guys, this is Matt from uh, the Movies on a Budget YouTube channel. Um, I had actually said I, my next video was going to be a Blu-ray update, but uh, a video I actually wanted to make and never got round to, um, I've got for you today. So um, I'm just going to get on with this. Um, this is my top 10 films that I like or love that people just don't seem to like or get bad reviews that... I don't think they deserve, to be honest, but whatever, each to their own. Uh, at first, this one might be surprising, actually, because I, I reckon quite a few people like this, but there is a certain section of people who hate this film and say it's one of the actor's worst films who's in it, and that is uh, Jim Carrey, and that is The Cable Guy. Um, this film, this film makes me laugh a lot. Uh... I've got a friend who loves this film as well, and we we've watched it together like a couple of times, and it's the, it's the medieval uh, times uh, scene that just cracks us up all the time. And uh, my my dad's actually a massive Star Trek fan, and he, he if you've seen it, you know what I mean. And he loves that scene. He was in hysterics, and yeah, I I think it's pretty good. Up next is a film that I actually lent to my cousin. Um, and he hated it, and I, th I don't think many people like this either. And actually, on the front, they've given it five star reviews, but I haven't heard anyone that likes this film. Like out of my friend group, they just think it's crap. And that is Be Kind Rewind. I, I really enjoyed this. I I thought it was kind of it starts as a comedy, and then it gets a bit deeper, and it's like a real feel good kind of film. So um, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Whatever. Um, here's a a film that was part of a series of films that um, yeah I'll admit they they're never going to be as good as like the first couple but this I thought was like a really worthy sequel and uh, a lot better than some of the other ones and that is Hellraiser Hellseeker or Hellraiser Six um, I just thought this kind of went back to the roots of the original um, and I think that's why I liked it and I also really liked Hellraiser Inferno. But out of the two, this one seems to be the one that gets a lot more hate. Um, it's got a similar kind of story. And, uh, yeah, I it says here, on the back actually, um, it, but standing in his way is Kirsty Cotton, and then it says Ashley Lawrence, Hellraiser 1, Hellraiser 2, and Hellraiser 3. She was hardly in Hellraiser 3. It was like a videotape of the main character watching. I, I don't get that. But I, I think that's, that's good. Um... Oh, here's one that um, a lot of people dislike, and that is Jason Goes to Hell, um, The Final Friday. Uh, this this was, I think it's quite cool, I like the premise. Like, all, I know a lot of people were expecting to see another Jason film, but he's not really in it, and I think that's why people don't like it, but it's different, and that's, that's what I like about it, is... Not the same old, same old Jason. Now, I think Jason X, I hated. And the hate that that gets, it deserves. Because it's crap. Total rubbish. I hate that film. Um, I'm going to save the next one till last, actually. Because it is the big one. Uh, up next, a superhero film. Daredevil. This film is... Is this two-disc edition? Yeah. Didn't know that. Uh... This film, not a lot of people like. Um, a lot of people actually recommend the director's cut. I don't think this is the director's cut, to be honest. So, who knows? But oh, it's it's a superhero film. With the, they're not amazing films as they are. They're just good. I, I don't know why this gets so much hate. It's just it's just a film. Come on, like I, I enjoyed it. So who cares? <laughs> Uh, this one I actually enjoyed a lot more to Terminator Salvation. I, I didn't really like uh, Terminator Salvation. Um, this is Terminator 3, uh, Rise of the Machines. Um, I haven't seen this in ages. Again, I think this is a two-disc edition. Wow, it's not. It's a three-disc edition. What is going on here? I had no idea this had so many discs. Uh, yeah, it looks like it has two, but no, one of them just fell out. It's on top of the other one. That's not good, but... Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Um, wait, let me check. Is this even a two-disc edition? 
Or is it meant, to, or have we just stuck another DVD that we found? And oh, I can't be bothered. Right, but I like this film. Um, obviously, it's nowhere near as good as Terminator 2, but Terminator 3 is pretty good. Um, Arnie plays a great Terminator. Um, yeah, I didn't like Terminator Salvation, though. I thought it was a bit boring. Uh, there is one scene I liked, which was uh, they did a nod, kind of, to Terminator 2. Uh, if you've seen it, there's the you, to get the robot's attention, you need to have like some form of frequency, like a radio, and uh, they get a radio and they turn it on to get this like a, I think it's like a bike or something robot, and to get its attention, they turn a radio on, and the song that's playing is uh, "You Could Be Mine" by Guns N' Roses, which is uh, the theme tune to uh, Terminator 2, which I thought was really cool. Uh, up next is. The Flintstones, not the first one, the second one. See, it's a double disc thing. And that is The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas. I thought this was pretty good. Like, I don't know what people were really expecting. I just, I, I just think it's a fun, kind of feel-good movie. And Stephen Baldwin, wow. Uh, I don't know what I can say about him. He's, he's a bit odd, but... This guy's actually British who plays uh, Fred Flintstone. He does a really good uh, Fred Flintstone. Nowhere near. The cast is not as good as the cast in the... Uh, f Although, saying that, I prefer the two actresses who play um, Betty and the other one, whatever her name is, Betty and Wilma. Um, I prefer the two actresses in the, the sequel to these two. I just think these are better actresses and... Who knows? I just... Whatever. Um, so, yeah. I, I like that film. I know people hate it, but... Whatever. Uh, up next is uh, quite a recent comedy film that a lot of people dislike. Um, and that is The Dilemma with Vince Vaughn and Kevin James. Um, I, I love Kevin James. I'm not a huge Vince Vaughn fan. I like some of his stuff. Um, but... Most I'm I bought this film because of Kevin James. I think Kevin James is such a funny guy. Um, I love King of Queens. I think that's a brilliant show. I'm actually watching that at the minute. Um, I'd watched it. I've watched some of it. I haven't watched all of it, but I'm working my way through that. Um, he's funny, man. He's like such a good actor, but he he has a he, he's not known for making great films. But I thought the dilemma was pretty funny. Um, Actually, more in a dilemma because I don't really talk about this. the story of this. Is basically Kev uh, Vince Vaughn's character sees Kevin James's character's wife or girlfriend cheating, and uh, he can't really bring himself to tell Kevin James. And it, it's kind of, I, it's not the funniest of comedies. It's actually quite depressing at times. But, of course, I watched this just for Kevin James, and he's just a great actor. Uh, up next, uh, one I know a lot of people don't like. I'm just going to get on with this. I don't want this video to be, like, ages. Is Evan Almighty. Now, people seem to like Bruce Almighty. People seem to hate Evan Almighty. Um, I like, I, I'm like. i a big fan of Steve Carell, and you can't go wrong with a bit of uh, Morgan Freeman. So, um, I thought it was good. The whole Noah's Ark, I thought it was a great idea. Like, for a family film, that... Like, if I had to make a film about religion that was a comedy film, and Bruce Almighty had already been made, I think the, like, the Noah's Ark story is probably where I'd, I'd go, because it's kind of universally liked. It's like, it's, it's a good story. Like, whether it's true or not, I'm not dissing religion or whatever, but... I just think it's 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 good and whatever. Okay, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now this is a top ten, so I have to do the number ten films that everyone seems to hate, but I I like. And this film, my God, do people dislike this film? I I if you take this film seriously, you're gonna hate it. If you compare it to the f the first films that came out before this, you will hate it. If you go into this film, haven't seen it before, thinking, ah, oh, it's it's a comedy, you'll love it. 
because it's bloody hilarious. <laughs> Such a good film, it's so funny. And that is Batman and Robin. This is, I think, word by word, line by line, the most quotable film in existence. It's it's amazing. And anyone who says that Batman and Robin's absolute shit, don't go into it thinking, oh, well, I, I fancy watching a film about Christian Bale. I want Batman Begins. I hate Batman Begins. I, I'm, I'm one of the few people that dislikes that film. I think it's awful. I like The Dark Knight. I thought Heath Ledger was a great Joker. I just preferred The Dark Knight to Batman Begins. Batman Begins is a pile of shit. I hated it. This, however, is brilliant. It's hilarious. If you just go into it thinking it's a comedy, you'll have a... It's just hilarious. Some of the lines that Arnie comes out with, playing Mr. Freeze, like, let's kick some ice, chill, cool party, uh, what what killed the dinosaurs, the Ice Age. His quotes in this film, his, his puns, are some of the best in film history. So, Batman and Ryan... And that's the pile, so you can see the pile. You've seen it for the whole video. I'm just going to block the pile and just let Batman and Robin bask in the, uh, or bask or whatever, in, in, in the glowing of the light. So you can see what, what I think is one of the best comedy films ever made. And if I'm so, like, when I was younger, I loved this film. I thought, oh man, it's well called Batman action film. And uh, now. I love it. I have a whole new love for it because I, I see it as a comedy film. Like my friends, like a lot of them watched this when they were younger, loved it. They now were into The Dark Knight and Batman Begins, whatever, and they hate it. They go, oh, it's rubbish. What a bad film. I can't watch it. It's so, so camp, so rubbish. It's one great big toy commercial. That's what makes it good. It's hilarious. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I think it's it's a good film. And if if you can't if you can't take that, we well, shouldn't be watching my videos really because I'm I'm the kind of guy that uh, takes the piss quite a bit. So um yeah, Bat Batman and Robin, one of the best superhero films, one of the best comedy films, one of the best films. I can't believe I'm saying this of all time. So, thank you for watching my uh, top 10 films I like or, or, or love, love, Batman and Robin, um, that everyone else seems to hate. So, uh, yes, thank you for watching and goodbye. See you later.